Hey, it's Anime K Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatterday Night Live. We are not in Splatoon yet. It's a little weird. There's no sounds. Well, there are blips and bloops, but no music. So let's get through this really quick. There is Springfest gear. Springfest is on the way. We'll talk about that. If you don't see the Springfest notification in your news, hit plus, go to find channels, just go straight to Splatoon 3. If you're not already following it, you should be. And you should be able to find it. Here it is. And then you actually have to boot the game through this, just like the other gear we got. And we'll talk about the Splatfest. Free in-game gear. There's a little peek at some of it, but this is, and a banner as well. But this is like the most gear at once I think we're getting because it's not not quite as elaborate as the Halloween costumes and the Frosty Fest stuff. But there's a lot of it. Get some shoes, get some glasses. I'm more interested in the shoes. There's deep cut themed gear in there as well. So how's everyone doing here? Got the Q&A going, let's boot. We're heading to Encopolis Square. It is a Salmon Run Wild Card Weekend, but we will talk a lot about Springfest before we jump into that, because that was just announced recently. So let's start, I don't think Deep Cut's gonna mention it much because next weekend is the sneak peek, so if you are wanting to pick your team, you can't do that quite yet. They tend to announce the special ones at least a little ahead of time. Springfest was actually teased a while back, so we just had to wait till post-Easter to get it. But yeah, so what we're gonna be doing tonight, though, outside of talking about Springfest, is go to Grizzco over here because random weapons, random king salmonids, it's all on the table. We can get some nice, maybe we won't have the Grizzco music. Let's listen to the the fun uh, shop music here, because I'm nostalgic for this. It's been a while since I've just hung out in the shop while we talk about stuff. Okay, how are y'all doing? Let's go ahead and put this on. There we go. So, Springfest, this is something that was in Splatoon 2, but has returned for 3, just like Splatoween, Frosty Fest. It is all, not just Easter themed, but just spring in general. You can see all the eggs and everything. A lot of bright colors, even for Splatoon. These are the teams. We're gonna have baby chicks versus little bunnies versus bear cubs. Tough choice. It's spring, a time for fluffy, fuzzy fluffiness. That's the EU announcement of the Splatfest. It's actually worded as a question in North America. I just decided to make that image. Uh, what, which fuzzy fluffiness do you like the most? So it's very, very cute things to decide from. We have baby chicks. Lil Bunnies, and Bear Cubs. I just happen to have images that fit all three. Uh, I'm not really decided on this. Obviously, Baby Chicks is where I would maybe go, but I don't know, Bear Cubs, are, they're all very cute. They all have their own appeal. Lil Bunnies are great as well. It's just a funny question to be like, oh man, I'm really racking my brain over which of these cute little animals is the cutest. But as far as the gear goes, we're going to grab some of this stuff in a second. Here's some of the the names of it and you can get a better look at all the gear here that we'll grab from our little terminal. Uh, here's a little peek at what Springfest is gonna look like in two weeks. We got like cherry blossom, it almost looks like a cactus a little bit but I think it's supposed to be just a tree with cherry blossoms and the Shinto, you know, rope around it to sh denote that it's sacred. There's a kami in there probably. Here is <laughs> one of the very new things though. This is the outfit that outfits that Deep Cut are going to be wearing. I love the the little cheeks on Big Man with his, yeah, he just looks like a spring baby. Fry has Dongo, the little dumplings on her head, and Shiver has cherry blossom petals, which is very, you know, those are, ver this, it's like the Sakura Dongo, the style that you would eat when you're in spring cherry blossom viewing, so that's another big part of spring for Japan and a lot of areas of the world. There was a Blossoms vs. Dumplings Splatfest back in Splatoon 2, so the timing's kind of good for that. They are so saturated looking, though. The colors are crazy. And then here is a peek of Inkopolis Plaza. There's like a Moai with a spring bonnet on. Just a lot of fun stuff. Flower crown, Midsummer looking tanuki in the background. But here is Marie's outfit. Look at those bespangled, whatever you want to call it. It's just very bright, very pink, and very green. And then, yeah, we have Callie with the blue and pink together there. And the funny part, though, of all of this, we are getting 
off the hook with new outfits as well, but they completely missed the memo. They're like, we're going to be cooler during Spring Fest. We're going to be metal and goth and... Yeah, they've got like... <laughs> Pearl has a thorny crown, which is maybe that's connected to Springfest, if you think about it. Um, this outfit combo was actually from the art book for Splatoon 3, and it never got used until now. So even though it doesn't really feel like it's Springfest uh, that much, I think it's fun that Off the Hook's like, no, we're going to do our own thing. And if you look, the uh, the outfits on the right, those were from side order and set you know those are newer but the ones on the left i don't think they've used that for anything with the big crown on pearl so maybe we'll see those come uh splatoween and frosty fest later this year hopefully they'll pop up as well here's a couple more shots of off the hook in their new outfits they're going to be wearing they definitely look the most stylish i think they messed with the other characters or everyone it's like everyone agreeing to dress up for a party and then they show up and they're wearing just like cool normal <laughs> shoes and yeah, I dress, you know, dressing up as the Babadook to go to a normal party sort of energy there. Okay, well, before we jump to Grizzco, I want to go into the plaza, because let's get all that gear that I've been talking so much about. Especially the shoes, the, the deep cut sneakers, I think I'm the most excited for. But I like that we're getting a lot of it to kind of make up for the fact that there's not as many costumes themed towards Springfest, you know. I guess you could have like bunny ears or something, but also this is a banner for the Splatoon 3 World Tournament. There's a QR code out there. I can try to post it in the Discord if you're not part of the bog. It's in the description, but that's what it looks like. It's in the Inkling language, but it still is basically like Splatoon 3 World Championships. Look at all this stuff. And the shoes are fully upgraded. Thank you, Deep Cut. I don't have to use any of my sea snails. There's some uh, Crocs in there and some other stuff. And of course that banner for Spring Fest as well, so. Okay, we'll look at those real quick before we head over to Grizzco. Here's all the glasses. Teal pinhole shades, very Spring Festy. Green pinhole. Pink pinhole with the jelly beans, and then these are off, or a uh, deep cut themed here. The yellow pinhole, because it's got the deep cut logo and the color scheme. And then here are all the shoes. Oh wait, those are, those are similar looking, but those aren't. Yeah, we got shivers. Squid Kid 3s with the little shrimp or whatever is on the side there. Fries. Those are very springy. And Big Man, of course, I like his the most. I think the color scheme just suits me the best. Oh, look, these actually go with... I didn't realize these are Pearl and Marina's Crocs. Now that we know what their outfits look like, that makes a lot more sense. The Jeweled DC Trip Toe Jams and the Chain DC Toe Jams. And then Swirled. Just kind of a general egg-looking one. Uh-oh. Hey, I was in the middle of a fashion show here. We got kicked out. Um. So, yeah, everyone, I was going to say, if you didn't miss the beginning, go into your news because they're available. all this stuff is available now. Usually they wait till closer to the Splatfest. But they put all this stuff in there now. Where were we? Trifecta. Oh, that's a, another deep cut themed one. You can see all their symbols on there. Trifecta duck boots and trifecta high tops. And then last is the trifecta sandals. So these are all, all three of these are deep cut themed. I'm going to put the big man one. They just happen to have stealth super jump, which is very convenient. All right. That's good for me. Let's jump over to Grizzco. We don't need to walk. We can go through the vents or whatever the squids do to travel around like that. All right. If you are not in the pool, I will show you guys. This is the pool name. Just swimming bird. One word, you can join and then jump in to play. Oh, let me get my aim going. Oop. All right, so Bone Rattle Arena. I don't have to show the weapons because there are random, it's all random weapons, all random kings. So we got, you know, one in three chance of getting each of the kings, but we, there's so many weapons we could get here. So be on your toes. Sent out the recruitment. Welcome, JCN. Thank you for jumping in. I'll try to catch up with the chat while we're getting this lobby going. And... So, so asking, yeah, so I did clear out the friends list recently to make more room for the pools. Unless you are a night owl or a treat giver, those, those people get guaranteed spots on the friends list. But if you're not at those levels, unfortunately, just try to join through the pool if you're not on the friends list because it fills up so quick. That is just an easier way to get more players in. But we got JCN, Jet Owl, and Rafa for now. Okay. 
But yeah, Spring Fest, it happened a little later, maybe not later than I was expecting, because I knew it would be post-Easter, but it's going to be almost the end of the month. It's going to be the 20th, the weekend of the 19th and 20th is when it's actually going to happen. All right, so this map, if you haven't seen Bone Rattle, a lot of fun. It's got all these rails to ride around on. You want to try to stay up a lot of the time because of that. What do we got? Ooh, nice, the Dowser Dooley's right off the bat. And it is high tide, so be careful any of these little areas. The, uh, what are they called? Valleys, drainage ditches, whatever you want to call them, are not safe to go in. Ooh. <laughs> the timing there, or the, the wall that was created by the slamming lid kind of helped a little to aim our bombs in. Try to get some of these, but it's a little tough. This is our warm-up round. Oh, that's not good. I was gonna go over there and go up and do some shenanigans, but Maz is here. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get back in Salmon Brain. We played a lot of other modes last time. Did the challenge mode that was fun with dress up amiibo costumes, if you missed the last stream. Got that thing to get out. I think I might be starting at a higher EVP for once on this map now, because I have a bronze badge for Bone Rattle that I got last rotation that I played on this one, so. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I gotta get my movement back down again. Eggs are less important than not getting missiles. Whoa. Oh no. Yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> There's no ink there. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Try to get JCN back in. Alright, we're good. We're good. 45. Pretty good uh, first wave. Yeah, unfortunately, duck boots are not what they sound, Alex. <laughs> you can get the flipper floppers from Grisco if you really want weird webbed feet to slap around in. Are, are flippers, like the ones humans use, directly based off of, like, a duck's foot? Is that why they're designed like that? I always thought they were kind of, like, porpoise or something. You know, like a, a more uh, fully aquatic animal would be the basis. I didn't even see what I had. I just assumed I had the same thing because it was also Dooley's. I think I have... I can't... T we have three... We have... It's probably not Dowser, but... It's, uh... It's either Dapple or Tetra. can't see my own weapon. Or, yeah, Dapple. Maybe. From the short rolls I'm getting out of this thing. Well, if I can roll four times, I know it's the Tetris. It is the Tetris. Never mind. I need to be better at being able to tell weapons apart without looking at him, just by feel. Oh, that was close. I was hoping to get... Flipper floppers! Ah. Up there. Uh-oh. We're having a tough time with quota now. Ah! Too many drizzles! One more season left, Devin says. I don't know about that. I think uh, we're going to get an extension, but I guess don't quote me on that because we don't know for sure. Ugh, we got those. Ah, we're so close. We only needed three more if I hadn't died on that. No one was really going for eggs at the end there. I know it was a little crazy, but... Yeah, I they haven't announced it. It, but I feel like they're most likely not gonna go weapon new weapon crazy in the last season but we'll see so if you don't don't know that we are getting a new stringer and a new splatana but also two other mysterious weapons that we don't know about but if they put all of those in the final season I guess that would be a cool way to end it but I don't see that happening I feel like they're gonna spread those out all right we could try another with this party I forgot to mention, we have a new piece of gear, though. 
for this month. I don't know if we can see it without me going back in here, but it was on the Grisco uh, spe or earnings chart, whatever you want to call it, the little track of how much we're making and what rewards we're getting. But it's the El Rey Calamar, I believe it's called. It's a luchador mask. Squid-themed luchador mask. New outfit has begun. They like to do multi-piece ones over a couple months. We'll probably see the other piece of it before spring or fresh season is over. Okay, let's see. Yeah, people talk about unpractic impractical shoes for splatting. Flipper floppers are up there, the uh, croc looking ones, toe jams they call them in this, definitely fly off your foot while you're trying to kick an egg in the basket or whatever. Because it's a Grisco, you know, wild card, we can get any of the Grisco weapons, so then when I get like a normal version of some of them, it is a little disappointing. Do this. Oh, okay. They got it. But yeah, I thought I was gonna get the Grisco stringer and we ended up getting the normal one, but still good. Oh, I did not see where that came from. Now it's a little late. There go. This is pretty brutal map for Drizzlers if you're not careful with them. Because everything is so centralized on this spot here, where the basket is. If a drizzler covers that, it might be dead. Uh oh, Rafa's in trouble. Okay, someone got him. Uh, everything's bad over here. Go ahead and do that. We're okay. I probably didn't need to use that Booyah Bomb. It's playing it extra safe. Oh, oh, oh. No! Got distracted! <laughs> Gotta not read the chat when we're in the middle of a drizzle cloud. Okay, I might bump up my, how's the balance? I might bump up my audio a little. There we go, that's what I wanted. But we do have a night wave, so I gotta be careful. Gushers, okay. Not too bad then. Can't find an unopened gusher here, there we go. Might get this guy before he even gets away. Nope, not quite. Very satisfying to get an entire cohawk with one charge. Okay, we're going around that way. They're gonna be dead on this one. Yep, okay. Let's see. Where else could it be hiding? I'm getting lucky with these. Not sure if the tap shot is better with this or not. This charging still does good damage, right? With the explosive explosives. Explosives, no. <laughs> okay, if we get all these, I think we're good. Mostly oh, there's a couple over there. We need those for sure. Last one. Okay, we're good. I know we should have been hunting if we really wanted to get a bigger total, but... Yeah, overall, I think if I'm close enough, just spamming the shots instead of charging them seems better for this thing. Springfest is not happening right now. No, we're... We got the gear for it. Next week is the beginning... Or next weekend is the beginning of the sneak peek, and then the weekend after that is actual Springfest, the 19th and... 20th and 21st. 
But I want to make sure everyone got their gear, because you only have so much time to get all that stuff. I thought there was supposed to be one more special holiday thing, but I'm not sure what it would be unless it's a summer themed one, then we would have one per season, but I don't know if they're gonna do another one at this point. I guess that depends on if we do any content extension. Let's see if we can get this. Whoa, whoa, no! <laughs> the clever girl Maz technique. I don't know if I've ever, like, moved out of the way of one Maz and had a second one do that to me. That was bad. I should have stayed on the rail. But yeah, let me know if the audio balance is okay for you. The game is slightly quiet for me, but as long as it sounds good for you guys, that's what matters more. Let's see. Uh-oh, another one. Too many eels. Ah! Okay, someone else got it, luckily. Got your jet out. Oh, that wasn't how I wanted to do that. Ah, yep, that's it. Just trying to hit the slamming lid, jump onto the fish stick. I'm in a weird spot here. Thank you. Okay. Jeez. We almost have quota. If I could just get up there. Alright, we made it. Definitely starting at a higher hazard level. I noticed I'm 200 uh, pay grade instead of the normal like 60 you would start at because I've got the bronze badge. Okay, good balance. Thank you. I'm gonna bump it up for me slightly then. I tend to find that sound is very important in this game, but I think in Salmon Run even more for my reaction time. I want to be able to hear all the stuff trying to kill me, you know? Okay, let me hydrate a little in between shifts, and I'll be right back. Okay. Let's check out the new gear. We got at least one mask waiting for us. Our meter is about halfway full. There we go. Not the best. Wow, we got a almost a pure <laughs> quick respawn. Hmm. It has less spots, but that just seems like if I really wanted a quick respawn thing. That's almost like a Dragon Ball in joke. Coming back from the Dragon Ball to <laughs> quick respawn with the scouter. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get the new gear. Cause I don't have that, you know, I got plenty of other options if I want like a mix of stuff like that, but that just seemed like too good to pass up to have that much of the same ability all in one. Look at that. Oh here so here we go. Wow, the gold one is really intense. If you look at the forehead, it's like an inverted squid. Or in the, even the eyes, it's like three squid all swimming into my nose. Disgusting. Even the back kind of looks a little bit like tentacles. It's cool, it'll change color with your ink then, look, because it's purple on the icon, but it's gold from my current, was my current ink, yeah, yellow. Alright, we'll keep that on and then I'll forget that I have it. But we'll get to see the different colors <laughs> when we, uh, well, we have to go into the normal lobby to do that, I'm realizing. Can't wear any of my fancy new gear at Grizzco, because it's against employee rules. Yes, I think we do leave little ink footprints. Someone was asking there, Tyler. Briefly, you leave a couple when you leave, but they don't really stay if you don't shoot the ink there. Alright, we got Figzo, Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a squid kid. Or maybe an Octoling. We just need one more. That's, yeah, I think that is true, JCN. The, the brain is supposed to react faster to sound than light. When I played competitive Smash Brothers, I always liked to have sound. A lot of people that 
I played with, they would practice so much they would listen to music, usually, or podcasts or something, that they wouldn't always listen to the game audio. So it was very rare that anyone really cared about game audio, but I would bring my own headphones. Eventually I brought a little speaker system thing that I could hook up if other people wanted to plug in headphones or listen to it. Uh, but yeah, it was it's very important to be able to react. Like, I feel like my uh, my reaction is very based off sound. So that helped me, gave me the edge. Not really, but made it a little easier for me at least. We need one more yuz in here. It's okay if you played in the last one if you want to join. Because I know last time we were trying to rotate people, but if it, it stays, you know, if there's a slot open for long enough, feel free to jump in, even if you played in the last group. Appreciate people giving others a chance to jump in, though. Oh yeah, catching fish by ear in Animal Crossing. That's a good example, Bravo Aspect. Sound very important in that as well. I used to, cl in New Leaf, I would close my eyes and just listen, because I think sometimes the visuals would mess with me enough that I just going off sound was better. To each their own, though. I feel like in New Horizons, I didn't do that as much. Maybe the fishing was a bit easier or more forgiving. Somebody jump in here. We just need one more. We're gonna have to play with a rando if that's the case, you know, if we can't get another one. As always with these streams, there's a Q&A. You can click the little box to ask a question. There we go, holy carp. <laughs> that's gotta be something a character says in, in these games, right? I feel like that's come up before. I can picture Callie saying it or something. It sounds like a single player thing reacting to something. Okay. Yeah, I know some people will just like only have one earbud in, one headphone. I get easily distracted by sounds that are not what I'm doing. So, I tend to like to be very immersed in my gaming experience when I'm killing fish. Ooh. Normal stamper. Yeah, the difference between this wild card weekend and a golden Grizzco wild card weekend is that we are getting normal weapons as well, so that will mess with my brain and make me think that I have the cool one when I just have the normal one. Where's that Maz going? Did they get lured away? Where'd they go? I think they got eaten by Figzo. Okay, they're coming back. Oh. That was not my best timing. All right, Moz, come here. At least we got the fish stick, right? Holy carp, get that. <laughs> come on, ugh, too slow. I might as well just slice him at this point. There we go. Keep finding other stuff I need to use my bombs on, like fly fish and reviving buddies. Who are we missing? Let's see if I can slice this guy. There we go. And then hide under here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember to ride the rails. I forget a lot of the time. Hobo style. Get on the rails. <laughs> no. was a romant romantic sort of uh, idea of riding the rails, but I'm sure it's not very fun in reality if you have to do that. Kiki and Kiki's Delivery Service briefly rode the rails and romanticized that in my brain. We can't all sleep in a bed of hay above cows, though. Oop, low tide. The cacophony of all the salmonids in the background kind of sounds like cows or dinosaurs or something bellowing. They definitely don't sound like what I imagine fish would. Ooh, nice. Whoever just destroyed Big Shot there. 
Someone's got a Grisco weapon. Yeah, we got a couple Grisco weapons, honestly. Oop, didn't quite get that. That's okay. Yeah, shoot this out to sea. We don't need you firing any drizzles. Where we don't need them. <laughs> Whoop. I gotta be careful. This is a death trap to stay here too long. As we have learned in many, many a stream, Big Shot Beach is unforgiving. Okay. Now we need someone to go back to the basket and get all these eggs in there. The bomb did so little. Ah! <laughs> Got quota. Just watch this drizzle. Ah, I wasted that. Oh, we're almost dead too. My reef slider. I tried to use it at the last second. Didn't even need to use it, honestly. I should have just stayed how I was. Fix out, I'm trying to go around this way to get to you. Ring around the basket. Okay. That was a little dicey, but we survived. I just don't have any more specials left. Ooh, Grisco Blaster. Okay, we got two of them, too. Remember to paint the walls. Especially when you have a rapid-fire weapon that makes it super easy. Where are we going? This way? Yep. Got that already? Okay. Oh no, fix so! <laughs> They're like, if I'm going to die, I'm going out on my own terms. Jumping into the water. Are you still... Okay. Sorry, Figzo. I was trying to keep moving. and Otherwise, I would have had to wait there for you to jump out of the water. Mm, I wish this thing could kill flyfish. But its shots don't count that way. Ooh, that really should have landed. Didn't... Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> the pole messed me up, or the, uh, whatchamacallit. The ink rail messed me up. Okay. Go, 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 go! Oh my goodness. Ah, so close! Can we do it? Don't kill me! Just need a couple more eggs. Okay, we're good. Man, that was close. Alright. No king quite yet. Yeah, we will. I want to try to get... Uh, Back to side order at some point here, maybe in the next week, because we'll have a little bit of a lull before the new Splatfest. Sometimes it feels like there's just an event happening all the time whenever I want to stream, so side orders got pushed back a little bit, but I'd like to get back to that. Alright, getting that EVP up. Once again, if you were in the pool, feel free to jump in. We're going to have a king coming up pretty soon. I'm finally getting some of my uh, crust, Wander Crust rewards because playing so much Salmon Run, you don't get enough turf, or at least you didn't until they updated it, to use Salmon Turf as well. But I noticed the newer ones with the kind of Judd gear is so much easier to get. They, they really lowered the amount of turf you have to use to get that stuff. Let's do this. Okay. Take a look at it if it has a new color. Yep, it's purple, so it's got the iconic... Icon <laughs> now, newly iconic <laughs> default look. My little... Look at my little tentacles popping out of the back slightly down there. Alright. 
I feel like uh, how luchadors will, sometimes they'll run for office or they'll do other stuff outside of wrestling and they still wear, wear their mask. They'll have like a suit. It's like what it's like going to Grisco and keeping your luchador mask on. Alright. Ashley's here. Welcome, Ashley. Ashley was watching Gojira flicks, it sounds like, and now we're gonna go kill some kaijus together, so. A good night of giant monsters. And if you watch Shin Gojira, you get to see the bureaucracy involved <laughs> with killing giant monsters. Just like how Grisco probably has tons of paperwork and horrible uh, employee endangerment lawsuits. And, uh, Mr. Grizz doesn't care about any of that stuff. He just kind of throws it in the trash can, I would bet, or eats the paperwork. Yeah, that's what Steven mentioned. Mr. Baby Grit, you know, Mr. Grizz Baby in the Splatfest. That's what Danny said when I first showed her that. She was like, is that Mr. Grizz as a child? Lil Grizz. All right, what do we got? Rush. Normally, I would be more thrilled to see this, but in Salmon Run, not my favorite. Ooh, especially for getting a rush or something where I can't do that much damage. Gushers. Oh, this actually might be good for this because then I can zip around and... Here we go. Pick up eggs. Get a lot of... There we go. Oh, I think we got a roller. It made me look and feel so powerful, but I think that was mostly the <laughs> the big dynamo or the flingza doing that. That's why you want to ink the walls before the wave starts. Spending time climbing the walls. Oh, which way are they going? Oh, they got him already. Oop, my bomb missed. There we go. It does okay. You can tap fast enough. You just barely get anything for this in Salmon Run because it just doesn't do the damage that you need. Unfortunately. Buff the ink brush in Salmon Run. My new petition. We really gotta open more gushers or we're not gonna do this. Oh, there's a bunch over here. I think this will be enough. Okay, I didn't realize how many were sitting over here for us. Get these in! Get them in! Where is everyone? Giving us a mini heart attack here. There we go. Yeah, the Gushers, I think you need to have a, a couple of goldies at minimum to get enough eggs. Sometimes I get so distracted putting the eggs in, I don't get enough goldies, but we had enough there. Nova. Okay. Let's clean it up here. Two exploshers. We didn't even get the Grizzco slosher. We got two exploshers. Any fly fish should be dead, though. Having two of these guys on our side. Where'd that go? Oh, I missed it. Someone else might have got it. There we go. Look at these eggs. Much better this time. The Salmonids have started to learn to just fuse with each other to make it easier for them to not get killed by us. Uh-oh. There we go. Go, 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 go! <laughs> It's not going so hot. We have a big shot that I didn't even know about until he started killing me. Where's, there's like one guy there. Oh my goodness, where is everybody? Go, 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 go! 
I don't think we're getting this one, folks. <laughs> hey, why is it, it took so long to revive them? I don't really know why I was shooting them. Yeah, the double explosion curse got us there, I'm pretty sure. I feel bad for the people, yeah, <laughs> stuck with the explosions. <laughs> and we had a Grisco Splatana, so it was very extreme. I was the only one who could really ink that efficiently. Alright, we'll run it again with this group if they're ready. Got <laughs> Grisco Slosher, then Explosher. Yeah. I don't mind the, the Nova in Salmon Run, because it paints well enough. Just not as good in multiplayer normally. Alright, we might see Big Honkin' Life of the Party is such a fun tag. Um, we might see a king after this, we'll see. Depends. Oh, the Nozzle Nose. I know uh, Richelski, the Salmon Run aficionado, has been making videos on what weapon, like how to play certain weapons in Salmon Run. But I think they did a Nozzle Nose one and I forgot to watch it. Typically, if there's something in the rotation, I might refresh myself a little, but wild card, you never know what you're getting, so. Where are we going here? I hear a lot of horns. Oh, it's because Big Shot. Alright. As long as someone's back there to take these. I don't know if the cannon is that effective on this map. I guess it saves you from going up and down if they happen to land in the right spot. But I kind of feel like the basket area is too small. You're more likely going to get them falling around the sides, like I think happened with that other one there. I keep waiting for a big shot to show up again, but he hasn't popped up. One and done. Uh oh. I'm gonna send some more. Get them in there, hopefully. Uh oh. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> okay, we got it. I'm trying not to use my specials if I can avoid it for this last bit here. Ooh! That would have been so crazy if I landed that bomb. If I had aimed it at the uh, stinger a little more, I probably would have landed it. Ugh. Salmon kiss can. Um, but I almost threw a bomb that landed into a fly fish I didn't see. Ooh, here we go. Gotta make sure I don't use up all my ink. Too quickly. Okay. Oh, someone died so fast. Alright, Drizzler, you're out of here. Gotta remember, I got my specials. Fly fish. Oof. <laughs> this egg's popping up everywhere. Zipping back and forth here. There they are. Don't be afraid to throw a bomb in there, folks. <laughs> I know they're annoying, but you could kill them. Someone else got it. <laughs> no shade. I just don't want everyone to forget certain bosses. Otherwise, it's a nightmare. I couldn't find him for a while, so... 
They were hiding down below the ledge. All right, good job. Mama. I keep forgetting to jump on the side of the fish stick when the wave changes, because then you get to cicada on the edge. And it looks silly when it disappears. We're all about the silly strats. If they don't kill everyone and cost us the shift. Learned my lesson from this map. There we go. Jet Squelcher perfectly suited to kill the slamming lids. Where'd that moss go? Oh, there they are. Okay. Everyone wants the fish stick loot. There we are. All right. Uh oh. Stinger's giving me a lot of tr trouble. Ash has got him. Thank you. <laughs> One of the most satisfying feelings is a stinger shooting at you and then it cuts off because it gets killed by somebody. Oh, I should have maybe played that a little different. Go, go, go! No! That was not smart. <laughs> My squid armor did not save me. A bomb somewhere! I heard a bomb. Thank you! No! <laughs> he shot through my storm. I didn't see him. So it was too late. Alright, we're good. I think. No king quite yet? Okay. Probably the next one then. Favorite character in Dungeon Meishi? <laughs> That's tough. Probably Senshi. There's a little... They put out a bunch of uh, Senshi's, like, knife and his walk and all this cooking gear. It's so tempting. Problem with buying something practical that's, like, limited edition is do you want to actually use it and wear it down? That's a tough choice. Thank you, Josh. But yeah, I love most of the characters, though. S-H-A-D-E-G-A-M-I-N-G became a member. <laughs> Shade Gaming. I guess if you spell your name in caps... Then the charming British robot lady, Victoria, I think her name is, will read it out. Oh, thank you so much, Steven, for the super chat. Everything's happening. That's what we might hear very soon. If Megalodontia is the one that tries to kill us. Okay. Thank you for the super chat again, Steven and Ashley. And thank you, Josh, for the gifted membership. Welcome, Shade Gaming to the early birds. Let's get another room going. Jump on in. Oh, it popped up again, but that's okay. Gifted ones play twice. Not really sure why, but I guess it's once for it being given and once for the person becoming a member afterwards. That kind of makes sense, I guess. They want to sell- it should be like Josh gifted a membership and then do the other part, but... I don't know, I just play the games. Okay. Do one more and then I'll try to make sure anyone trying to get in that has not gotten a match yet, let me know. Or a shift, as we call them here at Grisco. We'll make sure anyone who wants to play is able. All the distractions happened after we won, luckily. Thank you. <laughs> we weren't in the middle of killing a kaiju. This is a rough map for Megalodontia because it's so vertical. I feel like it's you might get stuck and not be able to get out of their giant jaws. Maws. No! A normal slow blaster! I know it's popular in multiplayer, but... 
Oh my gosh, look at our... We got three blasters and a Nova. Grillers. Ooh, blasters are pretty good for grillers. Don't forget the strategy of hanging out on this rail if you have to, and then it will lure the grillers to turn around at the basket if they follow you all the way up here. There we go. Now, if they don't sneak up on us, this is a great spot. Ooh, got the one, sort of. Someone died down there trying to get to the other one. There we go. Uh-oh. Did not mean to fall down. We're splitting our efforts. Okay, so if you're here, jump on this and lure it away. There we go. Okay, good. Don't forget, you can jump off of the rail if you have to. I don't have a great feeling about this one, but we're trying. Here comes another griller. Oh. Hey. These little guys out of here. I think we have plenty of eggs, or most of the eggs we need, we just gotta get them in. And don't get grilled in the meantime. Hurry! Don't worry about the grillers anymore, get the eggs! We're gonna lose. Jeremiah! See if we... I guess we could have gotten more eggs from there, but there were so many over here still. Alright. The ultimate distraction. The grill. It's getting, the weather's getting nicer. A lot of people are getting grill-brained. Grill-pilled. <laughs> they want the delicious salmon in there. All right, let's shuffle again. Yeah, this is a little rough with our weapon combination, even though blasters are good against it. We just gotta focus our efforts on getting those eggs in. The thing I was trying to say is if the griller chases you all the way up to the basket, if you go on that rail, it'll turn around and then everyone will perfectly have a shot at blasting it in its fishy tail. Okay. Oops. There we go. Next successful one should hopefully have a king. That's my hope. Ashley, get in here. Get those scales. Cupie, I don't. Remember. I feel like we played with you. We must have. Sometimes people change their name, and it throws me off. How do I feel about the Splatoon One servers shutting down? This is the final weekend, I guess, with Splatoon One, because the Wii U servers are shooting, shutting down. Um, shooting our last shots of ink. It is sad. I have so much you know, fond memories recorded on YouTube, you know, streams, videos. If I ever want to relive Splatoon 1, I can go back to those, so I haven't really felt the strong pull to return to Splatoon 1. At the same time, though, it is said, I know there's people out there, maybe, uh, not gonna be successful, but there's a group trying to get legislation to make it where a game company can't just, like, shut down a live service sort of game to an unplayable state. Splatoon at least has single player stuff, but yeah, when they shut down, like this is gonna be the first time it's happened properly with Splatoon 1, but you can't do any of that stuff. Uh oh, someone went in the high water. Um, so it is unfortunate, Ashley, <laughs> sorry to call you out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's been a hot topic for a long time since we have so many online games, and usually they don't shut down unless they're, like, unpopular enough, so now we have a weird situation here with something that was really popular, probably fell off in use, you know, in play until more recently because of Splatoon 2 and then, of course, Splatoon 3. Splatoon 2 is going to have a similar situation at some point, but... Get the other one! Oh. Okay, they got it! Oh. I don't know how to cancel a sub-weapon if I'm currently about to throw it. 
No! I was trying to get the Drizzler, and I got scrapped. Anybody around? All right, well, <laughs> that was a rough one. Wow. I was like one flick away from getting the Drizzler, and then kind of had some odd weapon mix there. But yeah, I don't know how far that... The, the thing is, if they can pass a cool legislation in Europe, then that would set a precedent, because Europe has a lot more rights for certain things. And maybe other game companies over here would have to follow suit, but... I think the, the goal is... It sounds a little silly, but it's like... Or, you know, something that might not happen, but the... It would be cool if it did, and I think the idea is just like... It doesn't have to be, like, servers on forever, it just make it in a state where there's a way to play offline and maybe have uh, infrastructure for other people to set up servers with it and stuff. But yeah, it is going to be one of those really strange, slippery slopes of stuff that I doubt will get passed over here, but like I said, if it can pa get passed in other parts of the world, maybe that'll set a precedent. So we'll see, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Ooh, getting up, oh, jeez, the rail always throws me off. If I get stuck on there when I'm trying to fire or throw something. Think so! What was that? I heard it. It loves to go in the water. Yeah. Oh, my bomb didn't do anything. I threw it for you. Sorry, Figzo. Mm, this is gonna be not great if we don't find another one of these guys. Quick. Not having the best of times here. Where is it? It's gotta be on that side. Yep, there it is. So quick. Ah, I didn't grab one as I went through. I should have. Yeah, I'm not thinking <laughs> this is gonna go well, unfortunately. Where are you going, little guy? Yeah, I don't think there's any way we're getting enough eggs. <laughs> we just need too many. That guy's gonna blow up, which means we're only gonna get a couple from him. If he even blows up in time, we're just not doing the damage we need get any of these eggs. Alright, we might have to shuffle the squad here. We're having having some problems. The hazard level is higher. I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, that's a good example. Mario Kart Wii, isn't it called Pretendo? Where people can have set up like fan-run servers where you can still connect. Like, That's kind of what is gonna happen with Splatoon 1 anyways. But it'd be nice if there was official stuff that made it, so... Can't just abandon things. The only problem is I worry that developers would... And companies more would shift because they're like, Oh, if we have to... have to do all that... Kind of remember when, like, the EULA was established for Minecraft? And certain other games that kids play? That is a good example of something where the... European legislature shifted and changed a lot of stuff. But it also... <laughs> made a lot of people frustrated about, yeah, having to adhere to that. A lot of stuff over here, it's like if a company is like, oh, this is annoying to do, they might just stop doing that type of game, but who knows. Reef slider into the water at the end, just to, just for the clip. Thank you, Ashley. We, she knew we were on our way out, so. Did a flip at the end. Anyways, enough about legislature. Rip Splatoon 1. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do have a lot of fond memories of it. The only problem is, it's it's like certain games where I like Animal Crossing on the GameCube, but it's hard to go back to because we keep getting iterations of a game that improves, for the most part, on a lot of these. So It's the same way where I probably wouldn't go back to play Splatoon 2, necessarily, because I prefer Splatoon 3 the way it plays. Okay. 
can partially blame the Goldie Seeking on my brain trying to form a cohesive structure of an argument during that. <laughs> Might lead to more limited worldwide release of games as a result. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's almost like one of those things where you discuss union. We shouldn't talk about this at Grizzco. But sometimes when stuff like unionizing comes up and then you hear companies go like, that's going to be bad because they don't want to have to do it. So they're going to make it seem bad. I think that's kind of what's going to happen with this if it ever does pass. There's going to be a lot of propaganda about how it's not good for the consumer. Instead of being like, no, we should have the things that are made actually keep working and run. Anyways. But that's kind of just the way it goes a lot of the time. Just like Grizzco, a lot of the bottom line is whether something's making money or not. For big companies. Learning a lot from Splatoon about the world. No. <laughs> Grisco is not that far off from a lot of real shady dealings. Uh oh. Yuppie! Take the bomb and bring us more delicious mayonnaise. That sounded weird, but QP Mayo is. Uh, I use that when I make my Surimi bake to celebrate deep cut. Uh-oh. Well, I got in a little over my head. <laughs> and let's stop talking about fake or real work stuff and things like that. We are at fake work to relax on the weekend. All right, we got quota. There's so many over here. People want these. go. Yeah! Revive whoever. There we go. It worked. Over the basket. But yeah, fan servers, that's kind of the way it goes. Fans will pick up the slack for a lot of things. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. You don't need to move too much, just kind of stay there. <laughs> you can drop bombs, too. Oh, I rolled way too early on that one. Killing stuff on this bridge actually does make it a little easier to get the eggs. Is it me? Oh, no. Sometimes I can't even see. Yeah, you can either hang out on this, or go across the bridge a little bit to get them to go up where we can get the eggs a little better. This is kind of a tough glowflies wave, though. Or map, I mean. All right, I'm going down there to grab this stuff. Get out of here, you Goldie. There we go. Couple more here, and we got it. Oh, this is gonna be close. Might just go double inkjet. Get off of there! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the ink line screwed me up so much. I was jetting, and then I got hit with the ink. Thank you. Get these in. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're good. The other way of doing this, yeah, is just hit stuff on the bridge so that you can grab them that way. Ugh. <laughs> we did it either way. Good job, team. Ooh, nice. Low tide. Follow this insane bow down to the shore. Sorry, Stringer. <laughs> so funny seeing nine arrows all. Oop, that didn't work. Got 
more over there. Almost all of them. There we go. Got to be a little more aware of when people are knocked out. Sometimes I don't see them until too late. Hey! <laughs> Got stuck on the ledge. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Rafa! Slam that guy. They're both under a lid. Uh, well, I think it was worth it to kill those steelheads. Well, maybe not. Uh, and the no bomb got us. Wow. That was third wave. My sacrifice was maybe not the best idea. I wasn't expecting Maz to chase me out of there, but I was like, I gotta get these steelheads out of here. Try another one with this group. We did pretty well on uh, on glowflies, though. And then the low tide was what got us. Weirdly, kind of a flip of what usually happens. Well, now I got this. I smuggled it out. Take this into multiplayer. That should be a challenge. I think people have talked about that. Make one where everyone gets to use Grisco weapons. That would. You probably have to really up the respawn rate. Or else that would be, uh... <laughs> people just being at spawn three-fourths of the time or something. What do we got? Slow blaster. We keep getting so many night waves. I guess maybe it's partially because we're at a higher EVP, but... Ooh, mothership. Choo! But it sounded like someone said. Hey, this is a normal blaster. It's not a range blaster. Doesn't have much range on it. Hit the lines when I don't want to and miss them when I want to. At least I'm getting my blaster practice in. Aim up, please. <laughs> Just watching people shoot. Unless the, the game is uh, not showing where people are actually shooting. Oh, oh, oh. This is annoying at high tide. Get to some of these spots. Okay, I think we're gonna have quota here pretty easily. Maybe I'll crab just to make sure we don't lose any. There we go. All right, good job, folks. Don't forget to paint between waves. Definitely helps on this one with all the walls. Another blaster. I'd prefer Luna, though, between the two, even though this would have been really bad at the mothership because I wouldn't be able to hit things very far, but I like a rapid blaster more than a, a rapid fire blaster, I should say since there's a real thing called a Rapid Blaster. Died before it could even get up here. Average Chris, thank you so much! Hopefully we'll see that king here very soon. Oh! Body blocked by the... Hozuna. Or not Coat. Cohawk. <laughs> Mixed them up. Very similar looking. Okay. 
Doing okay here. Oh, too far away. Should have known. Bye. <laughs> uh, go, go, go. Ah, so close. Get off of me. Uh, uh, uh. Trying to dodge the missiles. <laughs> Didn't want to have to use my other crab. Thank you, Average Chris. said, hello, get some Baja Blaster, thanks. <laughs> Will not be as much of a blast. I feel like, uh, at this point, Average Chris might work for Mountain Dew, PepsiCo, or something. I know they really endorse Baja Blast, but is it on a professional level, or? Are they just a blast head. Come on, Moz. Come on up here. Go. Oh, uh, there's a big shot somewhere. There we go. Oh. That didn't work. I was going to use my crab on that fly fish, all heroic, and then someone else got it. How do I... Ooh. Tetris. I forgot what I was even using. <laughs> Thank you again, though, Chris, for the Baja Fund. It will be used at some point. Most likely for cat treats, but I do appreciate it. Somewhere? Okay, thank you. I wasn't sure where everyone was, but they're all at Big Shot Beach getting all these eggs for us to survive. Except QP. Oh, you're way farther than I thought. I can get these in, we should be okay, but... It's getting a little precarious here. Oh no! We only need a couple more! Launch them in! One more! One more! Okay, jeez. Ah! I'm gonna be dead for the king. Alright, please try to survive as much as you can here. It's Zuna! The Goji. Goji of Splatoon. Oh, I got. Ooh, nice. Okay. Where the heck are they? There they are. Ooh, jeez. I don't have enough ink for a bomb, but I will just blast this guy. I really should have just saved up for a bomb at this point. Okay, okay. Oh, there's still one more fish stick over there. Land you. Yeah, the Grisco weapons. I don't know if I should be bothering with golden eggs. Oh my goodness, the distractions messed me up. Get out of here! Oof. Drizzle is really killing us here. But yeah, I should just hit this guy. As long as we don't die from a boss, I can just keep trying to do damage to him. With my bow. Go, go, go. Ugh. We're so close. Yeah, I think we're gonna run out of time to kill him. Now, I should have been just unloading with my bow earlier, but... We still got a silver scale. Thank you so much, Steven, for the super chat. Appreciate it. No Meg, despite how 
they did pop up in the corner to distract. I don't know what other weapons people were stuck with, but... Yeah, I think I, uh... Got a little divided. I was focused on the bosses, then I was like, I should just be shooting the Zuna. Okay. I want to look back at that shift, because, yeah, what do we have? Oh, two... <laughs> two, uh, refluxes, and then a Nova. I was the only one with, like, a really good damage weapon, so, yeah, I should have been doing that more. Apologies for my team. But we did a good... We fought a good fight, and we got a silver scale for it. Okay. Oh, there were eggs on the other side. I should have lured him back over there. Sorry, I was just trying to hit him as many times as I could towards the end. Okay. Let's get another thing going here. I'm gonna drink some water. Sometimes you want to lead him a little away from where everyone's hanging out so they don't get hit, but then if you lead him too far, like I was getting him off to the other side where he could not be hit by the eggs as easily. So I mean, the, the verticality of the bone rattle does not always work great for the kings because it can make it harder to move around fast and get those eggs and everything. Okay, I'm supposed to be hydrating. Be right back. Thank you, Average Chris. <laughs> I don't think they make Baja Blast flavored cat grass. I don't know what that would even do to the tiny little brains of, of Tabi and Gigi. They're already playful and hyper enough. Uh, we had cat grass early on when we had Tabi, but she would chew on it and then sometimes she would throw up where I was like, eh, I think she's just kind of getting that stuck in there in a, not like a horrible way, but it was just not not really uh, doing much for her, I think. There we go. Look at that roll. Lego rolling all over that Goldie. Got one over here still? Um, but yeah, I haven't tried it with Gigi, but he eats enough hair as it is. I know they like it, but they, they don't really need it. They got other things to chew on to get their special vitamins and minerals. Get up there. Right. Okay. Dapples are so satisfying to hit this guy with if he can aim it right. Very close. It's really nice when you get a normal rotation that has roller, because then you're prepared for any, you know, goldies or, um, oops, can't hit the bridge. Goldie gushers seeking and whatchamacallit, rushes and all the stuff that's annoying without a roller, but it's still nice when you get one randomly like this. Which way are you going? Down? There we go. I got gotcha. you. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> what was with that like beat of silence? Right before it just got weirdly quiet. All right, low tide. Ooh, Kohawk charge. going here, folks. Recharge while well, I got a second. Nice! It didn't land yet, so I got it in one go. Oop. Big shot. Get out of here, you. Not be using my ink on 
firing, not the cannon. I can help it. Go. There's a fly fish somewhere. Unless someone got it. There it is. I gotcha. It's nice to be in the far cannon, because you are pretty safe, relatively. Okay, now time to just get eggs at this point. You stay there so we can squish you. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at all this. There's no way we're getting all these in here, but... Might as well launch them, just in case. Okay, good job, squad. Oh, did someone do the wa- okay, I think Nat's mentioning it was the water trick that someone was using that- why it delayed a little bit at the end, because it was flying maybe towards the basket. Oh, I have my triple splash down, I gotta remember about. Come on over here, little guy. Got so used to using this weapon on this map because of, uh, oh no. No, oh, it's gone. Got used to using this weapon on this map because of the one rotation I played so much of. Had the ballpoint. Eggs in. Who wants a splashdown? Uh oh, uh oh. Here you go. Eat a giant inky fish. <laughs> Okay, we did it. Mostly, as long as we don't die at the last second. Shouldn't speak too soon. There we go. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Bathed in a booyah right at the end. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. We got a new treat giver. Average Chris. You've been so generous in the past already. Now they're trying to ensure we get that Baja Blast. Cat safe Baja Blast. <laughs> I don't know if they make that, but someday maybe. Welcome to Tabi and Gigi Treat Givers. I think you are our 10th Treat Giver. Appreciate it so much. Let me know if you play Splatoon and you want a spot on the friends list for sure. Oops, well, we can do another with this group. Didn't mean to hit. I got excited and accidentally hit again, but that's good. We'll keep going with this guys. Jimbo's Sorodora. You say Sorodore or Sorodor? I don't know how to say it. Sorodore sounds cool to me. And of course Lego. Lego also very generous. He got us to start going through the Mother series with Danny. I mentioned in the Discord, if you are looking forward to the finale of Mother 1, Earthbound Beginnings, we are going to delay that because Monday is the eclipse. So I know everyone's going to be pretty busy, or a lot of people will be, so I'm going to hold off on uh, the big finale of Mother 1 until after the eclipse. We'll do it the week after, the Monday after. Don't fire your missiles if I'm blowing up your thing, Flyfish. They don't adhere to the rules that I think they should adhere to. There we 
we go. Hmm, this is a risky jump. Okay. Not too risky. We're fine. Who's back here? Ooh. Two of yous. Two of yous back here. Not anymore. Now just the little one. Hey, hey, hey. He's still being annoying to my friends and co-workers. Get out of here. All right. Plenty of eggs. Saved some from Easter. That would be interesting in, in Splatoon 4 or whatever if they really want to do some high concept stuff with Grizzco. It's like, if you over, if you like sneak eggs away from one shift, you can sneak them into the basket in another to get your quota or something. Sorador. Okay. Thank you, Sorador. I want to make sure I'm saying people's usernames correct. Oh, tornado, okay. Well, I'll, I'll always take an easy tornado wave if we can get it. Uh-oh. Not always the easiest when the fish land on you. High hazard level tornado does ooh, have a tendency to make the fish fall right on your head. More than I'm used to. I can't tell if Lego... <laughs> Lego, you gotta go all around the whole way if you want to do that. You can't j You gotta go around all the way from the basket or else it just blasts right into the... <laughs> the spot where you picked it up last. Lego was trying to do the cool egg trick. I caught ya. Small Fry was so cute. Covered in lavender ink, but... Unfortunately, it was trying to kill us. Oh, oh, I'm about to die. Got stuck under a fish rain cloud. Okay, we just need one more of these. There we go, we're good. Yeah, the area where I live in western New York is like right in the line of the totality of the eclipse, so hopefully it'll be really cool. But that happens on Monday if you didn't realize if you're in a different part of the world that isn't really concerned about it. It's once in a lifetime thing from what I've heard. Isn't it like every hundred years or something? So hopefully that'll be cool. And worth delaying the end of one of my favorite video games for. We gotta get some of these walls inked a little better. Mothership, oh no, I have the Grisco Charger. Or, uh, not Charger. It's Platana. Not that this is gonna be... I can't get anything before anyone else kills it. There we go. I might just need to run eggs, honestly. It's such a slow weapon. Here comes the mothership. Oh, why did I... I threw that over it on accident. The ink line. I can still hit it from here, right? Seems like it. Okay. Oh, I got my booyah bombs. I should be using that, too. I think we'll be okay, despite... My Grisco Splatana. Yeah, I can still get stuff if I jump far enough. Or just get them right before they land. Well, we need a few more for quota here. Okay. I might have done that a little early. <laughs> there we go. One more. All right. 
Almost sounded like a king. Yep, oh my gosh. Our second one so quick. It's Boris. Yeah, hopefully it's not cloudy during the eclipse. That would be the worst. All right, give me something good for Boris, please. Ooh. The best for Boris, potentially. Wow. Oops, I gotta aim a little better. Where am I going? Jeez. Come on, oh my gosh. Throw that right in the way of him. I should just be going off on Boris with this charger, because it is so strong. So close, come on! And he's gonna throw it. So close. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm in a weird spot. Oh no! We were doing so well. We're so spread out. Can't even tell who's left and where they are. It's Lego! Saving the day! Thank you, Lego! Where are we going here? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Let's finish it off. There we are. Lego, you really saved our butts there. I thought we were done for. Again, I get too focused on the king sometimes. But I keep getting the Grisco weapons. I gotta do that damage. And we only got a couple more scales, despite killing that one. But that's another Boris for the belt. I'll have to look. I have a, uh, there's a tally if you look at Splatnet. You can see how many you've splatted of every type of thing. I wonder if I can check that real quick. Let's see if we can get one more. Maybe we'll get Meg to finish up. Boris Boris. <laughs> Alright, good job, squad. Oops, that's a bomb. Trying to multitask here. All right, salmon run. Where are my stats? Oops. Apologies. Jump out of this. So I have splatted four Megalodontia, not that many, but it is relatively new. 28 Horoboros and 53 Kohozuna. I gotta get my big shot totals up. I've only splatted 301 big shots. Compared to, what is my largest total? It looks like Maws, maybe. 1,353 Maws have falled, fell to my <laughs> bombs or otherwise. Um, I guess I'll get the new one, even though I like the ability on the other one better. Throw, uh, Throw power up or whatever it seems funny to have on a luchador mask because they're doing wrestling moves. Sub power up, sorry, is what I mean. Okay, get another lobby going. Sorry for just yelling numbers out a lot, but I'm close to a thousand stingers and slamming lids. Flyfish and especially big shot, I need to splat more of if I want those badges. That filled up so quick. Yeah, the kings are pretty stingy with their scales a lot of the time. No double scales for this wild card weekend. You only get that for uh, Big Run. I don't think the Golden Grisco weekend even gives you double scales now that I think about it. Just Big Run. It is definitely easier to get scales during a golden wild card because you get all the crazy Mr. Grizz weapons. All right, what do we got? Ooh, okay. I haven't played with Blob Lobber in a while. If we get uh, 
Blowflies, this isn't the worst. Oh, it's Grizzler. Grizzler. <laughs> Griller. I feel like I've said that before, Grizzler. On accident. It's just like Stinger, Stringer, Grizz, Grill. Too many things. Turn around! There we go. Pretty good lesser clearing wep uh, weapon here, but... The only problem is trying to get those. There we go. Getting the eggs in is going to be very tough. Unless we can keep the grills away. Goodness. We gotta get these eggs! <laughs> Doesn't matter where we lure the grillers if we can't get the eggs that they drop to actually get quota. Come over here, Octo Chew. If you just hang out only doing what you wanna do, it's not gonna win the wave. I know sometimes it's frustrating when you want to do a strategy and no one else is doing it, but this is where the eggs are. You gotta get them in! Come on, come on, come on! Someone else throw an egg in! Uh, we were two away! Sorry if I'm being overly critical, but sometimes you gotta do the eggs and not just shoot the whole time. Robert Lobber. Blob Lobber. Oh! Blobbert is his full name. Okay. Yeah, if if we're, you know, the grizz, the griller strategy, I keep saying grizzler. The strategy of going on the rails is good, but if the, all the eggs are in one spot, we just got to get the eggs. Okay. Very close though. I don't like that you can't throw an egg through a uh grate like a walkway. It seems like you should it should be able to pass through. Because squids can pass through, but I guess the eggs are more solid. Alright, I'll be right back. It's grill season, so of course the grillers will get us, but... Also, I keep wondering if I'm getting uh, getting my allergies already. If you didn't know, in Western New York, it's still been snowing occasionally, which is uh, bizarre because we're pretty pretty deep into April at this point, a week in. But sometimes we get snow all the way till May. At the same time, though, I feel like the allergies have started. The birds are back, so they're hanging out. They're making sounds. The squirrels are out. I got a tree to plant. I just remembered. I've had the seed that Danny brought for like a heritage peach tree. I gotta find a spot for that. Then we can have peach tree updates whenever. <laughs> no. Okay, good. We got a somewhat easy one to start with here. There they are. Tentabrel is real good for this. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, nice. Good first goldie. When you can take them out that easy. Oh, the Hydra probably shredded them. Oh my goodness! Too many eggs. Oh jeez. No, we need these. Trying to make sure we don't forget all the ones over here. There we go. Good Tenta. This should be ample to get quota. No, oh, I didn't mean to open that. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep these guys off the eggs. 
We got a huge stack over here. Where'd they go? I could explode. I don't think it keeps track of how many goldies you splat. I just realized, because there's no goldie badge, you have to, or is there? I'll have to double check that. Because yeah, I like having the, the silver is what I'm working on with a couple. I have to remember, was it Maws, Slammin' Lid, and especially Big Shot? Not to go out of my way to splat certain ones over others, but. Uh-oh, Gluga. You're not strong enough for me to do that. Oh! Ah, I almost did it. I think I got my bomb in, at least. Thank you. Ah, oh, so close. No, no, no! <laughs> I got a little autopilot lock on there. Whatever you want to call it. Thank you. Come on, you. There we go. There's a stinger on that side, too. These guys won't quit. We got this, we got this, we just gotta get the eggs in. Oh my goodness. Ooh, where is everybody? Someone's dead somewhere else, right? Eggs, eggs, eggs! No! <laughs> So close. That was a rough one. Oh, it snowed in Arizona? Well, I know you guys have mountains and stuff where it can snow. Buffalo area is all because of the lake. Oh, nice. Thank you, Benjamin. They said they started watching back in 2015 and bought the original Splatoon and been hooked on them to this day. And this week the servers go down. Yeah, that just feel like it's a weird, uh, not the nicest little foot no or benchmark in the series history, but it does feel important. Because the entire Splatoon series has existed in the span that the Splatoon 1 Wii U servers have been up, and now they're not gonna be anymore. People are doing their best to make me feel nostalgic, but also wistful. No. I just look back at how much fun we had. I really enjoyed getting into the series, and I still obviously enjoy playing it to this day. Ooh, there we go. If they're not going to give me the Grizzco Blaster, I'll take the Clash Blaster at least. We keep getting special waves like nobody's business. Thank you, Rafa! T-Man Bagged became a member. Thank you, Rafa, for the gift membership. Welcome back to the Early Birds, T-Man. Watch the waves here. Oh, I thought that was clear. I thought I could make it. I'm sorry. At least we landed up here. Oh, no one else is up here now, though. They're going down to get the stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Ashley. <laughs> Your noble sacrifice. They're gonna land up here at least. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, get that fly fish at least. Oh my goodness. I'm getting all the gold eggs down here, but... At least we're getting them, right? As long as they get in there. This is not a great spot to get these golden eggs stacked up, because they just keep spawning more enemies, and I can't actually get to them. Maybe if we're lucky, the fly fish, or the snatcher will 
cross over. Thank you. All right, where are you going, Snatcher? Nope, they're going away from us. I should have not killed the Goldie there. Sorry, I'm having a rough wave. We got quota. I just have to survive and try to redeem myself later. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was, I don't know what was going, it felt cursed. We were trying to get all the eggs down there, there wasn't a clear path. Not my finest hour. And maybe this won't be either, but we're gonna try with the dynamo. Nope, no one's over here. I'll make sure it's inked when they do come over here. <laughs> I got you, little guys. Come on, little guys. Everyone roll up. At least can kill all the lessers easily with this thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope, that wasn't smart. Oh my goodness. Ugh. So slow. <laughs> I have to flick before the steelhead's even charging up their gross spit bag. Okay, we're close to quota. Definitely an acquired playstyle to want to play this big lumbering dynamo. Oh my goodness. Alright. Wolf Piratus, welcome. I apologize for calling you Wolf Princess last stream. I misread your name. <laughs> there we go. This is what I've been wanting. This is. This is my reward for suffering through the Flash Blaster a little bit, but especially the Dynamo. Mr. Grizz has heard my wish. You guys got that already? Wow. Good job. Someone's got an Explosher in our squad, but... If we play it right, that is still good, because you get to use the flyfish trick to take them down without bombs. Go. Grisco Blaster is better against lessers, usually, but it's still good against a lot of stuff. Not go too silly with it. Oh, that was so close. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah, oh, he got me off the edge. <laughs> That's not fair. No, no, no. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's getting a little wild up here. We need these eggs. No! Uh... Okay, Quota, stay alive, please! Oh my goodness. That was scary at the end. Good job, squad. Whew. Flipper Flopper sniped me right at the edge. That's why you gotta be careful, even if the circle overlaps, because... They could get you. They dive into the solid part, I guess, enough to get you, even if you're below them, sort of. I was still touching the circle. That was on me, but... 
All right. Let's see if we can get one more king, and if we're lucky and it's Megalodontia, that would be a perfect. I think last time we had random kings, we got one of each, right? This thing's crazy. <laughs> Very satisfying. There's probably people who have, like, not to peek into whatever people's private lives is like, but does someone have a clip that's just like, when they fall asleep to that, they just listen to the clash or the uh, the Grisco blaster. <laughs> I mean, that would I don't I I could see it. I'm laughing, but I could see it. Hmm. I have enough ink saver main uh, headpieces. I'll I'll just get the chunks. I was gonna say, what's the most satisfying Splatoon sound? Is it the golden egg pick up or throw? Is it the charger connect hit? One more king! Yes, thank you Josh for summoning with the candles. I keep thinking about making a specific, like, king summoning candle emoji. We gotta unlock more. I mean, I run out of slots too easily. Oh, I'm the only one not on the J team here. Jet Owl, Jimbles, Jeremiah. <laughs> but yeah, this sound. Hmm. That's pretty good. The sound of the Grisco Dooley's rolling around. Yes, that's good. Ashley mentioned that. A lot of the sounds are so violent and loud that I'm like, I don't know if, uh... Jimming bird. Uh, I don't know if I would be able to fall asleep to some of them, but who knows. The non-connecting charger sound of it going like is not one of my favorite sounds, because it makes me feel like I'm not doing a well enough job sniping stuff. Moss? Didn't quite aim that right, but that's okay. Ah, uh, too far. Apologies. Let's see if I can get it this time. Ah, uh, no! Uh, <laughs> I, I always forget you, the ink line will make you just like fly off of it when you try to do a bomb. There we go. Nope. Messed that up. Mmm, this is bad. There we go. Or d I might have accidentally jumped on that part, but... I did not mean to jump through the sky and completely miss my bomb, is all I was trying to say. Okay. Survive, survive, survive! Ugh, where- jeez. If I had one big complaint about this map, it is the fact that... No! Uh, it's very easy to get- magnetized into the ink lines when you don't want to. The stinger getting blasted all at once and all the pans falling, Ashley mentioned, that's a very good one too. Hmm. I'm trying to think of other sounds that are very satisfying in this. Yeah, I was not doing so hot with my charger there, apologies. Let's see if we get a better shuffle this time. I'll stick with this group, though. We are one little bit of that stink -a meter away from getting a king, though, and then we'll probably finish up after that. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. All right. Let me know next weekend. We could probably do a mix of stuff to earn some of those conch shells in the pre-release, you know, pre-week before Spring Fest. 
I want to try to mix up what we do more if it is something that people want to see more of. I know not everyone's into Salmon Run, even though it's my favorite mode. The Wiper Buddies are <laughs> getting this place nice and inked. Okay, let's not get too distracted. There we go. Wipe, wipe, wipe. That's the well. Ah, oh, that might be the most satisfying sound now that I remember. Getting the direct hit with the Splatana. Oh man. When you charge that and you slice through somebody, it's so good. So many eggs. That whoosh. It kind of sounds like a blaster sound, honestly. It's not that different. Yeah, all those eggs popping out at once is definitely a satisfying sound. Look at us, we're just slicing through everybody. I might want to get out of here before I get scrapped. Look at all these eggs! Okay. Jadam, that's a good one too. We're gonna stick with Team J for another one here. Maybe we'll get our king. And zap! Oh no. The sky is darkening in an unsettling way. It's fog. I'm not gonna go down there this time on far, like that far. That was high tide too, but. You kinda wanna lure with fog because you don't know where some of the stuff is if you don't. Speaking of which, another drizzler's about to fall. Yep. There go all the pots and pans in a satisfying way. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Over there. He's got a goldie friend. See, sometimes I don't know, if someone says this way, I'm like turning around, but I'm in the middle of a fight. It's hard for me to balance, I'm so easily distracted. As we've seen by the super chats. Ooh, look at this! I'm gonna this way and distract people, cause... Ah! Uh, there's a ton of eggs from that Goldie. Okay, I have my Booyah Bombs, this is probably a good time to use it. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was very close. I think the stinger is giving us the most problems here. But we really need to get the eggs. Oh my gosh! Look at all these eggs! Okay, we're good. Stay alive. And inflate your steel eel total. Alright, alright. Last wave. Maybe the last wave of the whole night. Thank you everyone once again for joining me here at the prison gladiatorial arena. Oh, we're going down to the beach. We had our ups and downs here, but I'm ready for a king to show up. There we go. Good sniping jimbles. Probably not the best spot for me to leave a bunch of eggs, but I was trying to, uh, I'm not even getting egg, uh, <laughs> not getting ink back if I sit like that. Yeah, shoot that over here. Just trying to take the bosses out sometimes without worrying too much about where the eggs fall. Don't 
don't hit through my armor. Run, run, run. Oh my goodness. Okay. This could go really bad at the very end here with the amount of stingers and fly fish we have, so... Try to be a little careful. And prioritize taking some of them out. There we go. We got quota. Oh, this will be good if we have a king. We're down here at the beach. Plenty of room to move around. Okay. Mm, that sounded pretty normal. We might not have a king yet. Nope. Okay. A little bit longer. Okay. Average Chris, if you want to pop in the Discord, you can link your YouTube to it, and that'll give you your role. Then you can talk in the Night Owl and Treat Giver rooms, but either way, just either send me a friend request and let me know, or give me your friend code somewhere where I can see it so I can add you. Ah, Jedi Owl had full stink, too. Alright, this next one for sure, right? We had a stream a while back where I kept being like, it's gotta be this neck, this one, right? And then, still... Yeah. Oh, maybe I should shuffle. I want to make sure we let other people jump in. I do appreciate all the Jays out here for fighting the good fight. So I'm gonna shuffle real quick. Okay, let's see. Jimbles is full stink too. You guys can jump in if you want to again, but I wanna <laughs> make sure other people get a chance. All right. Putting out the call. Summoning has failed. <laughs> Just for now, it's it's been delayed. A delayed summoning is eventually good. Miyamoto said that about dark magic used to make giant fish attack. Okay, we just got the same group anyways. <laughs> Ashley's not full stink. Okay. No worries. I appreciate everyone who joins or doesn't. I still appreciate you watching, hanging out. All right. This is gonna be it, I would think. If we got me, Jimbles, and Jedi, we'll all have full meters for a king. Thank you all once again. I think I covered most of the Splatoon news. The I, I didn't mention the Koshien, the kind of youth baseball-themed tournament, I think is wrapping up in Japan, or I don't remember, but the World Champions is coming up pretty soon, which typically, uh, if anyone remembers when that is, but typically the World Championship will have some news about the game. So hopefully we'll get something cool revealed. We'll find out soon enough. Um, can't remember what I was going to say other than that. Because, yeah, I, I talked a lot about Spring Fest, but I'm trying to think of other stuff. Oh, in some... Uh, some ex uh, not the nicest news, but in a way is still good. Uh, if you if you know about the Nintendo Live situation that happened a while back, they canceled the Nintendo Live stuff in person because there were bomb threats and death threats, which is horrible to hear. And they put the concerts on the Splatoon and the Zelda concerts still happened as videos, but they did have a can to cancel a bunch of stuff and. Uh, from what I heard, I think they found the person who was doing the threats. And seemingly they're not doing that anymore, so that's good to hear. But yeah, so. It was just frustrating for a lot of people, because that's not cool to have to stress about stuff like that. I think that was one of the oop, first times I had heard like a Nintendo event getting a, sim a situation that way. I guess they were threatening, like, employees and not just people at the tournament that were gonna be there, but, yeah. It was a pretty heavy situation, so. Hopefully, it is resolved and people are safe. 
Ooh, look at all these eggs. But yeah, I think Worlds is still happening sometime. I just need to check when that is. So I think they picked every all the teams except for... It might be the Chinese fi finals still had to happen? I can't remember. Most of the tournaments that we're going to pick the teams that will go to the World Championship have already transpired. We've got multiple... Ch oh no, the Brella. The Grisco Brella really looks like a charger. When you don't have a canopy on it. What do I got? Sloshing machine? I do kind of like this one for mud mouths because you can get all the eggs centered around and then just toss them over. And... Nice and easy. A little tough to get to that with all these Kohawks though. That's another reason it's nice to have such a good uh... Oh my goodness! Our first Heron Baron! This is a momentous occasion! Average Chris, thank you so much! That is insanely, insanely generous of you. That is so generous. Oh my goodness. Now, not only will I add you on the friends list, but if you have a series you want to see on the channel, please, please, please let me know. So far, um talked to Lego and got Mother, the, you know, the Mother series, Earthbound series started on the channel. I got, I'm getting distracted, I need to get eggs. Um, we got the Mother series going, Rafa's another, uh, another member that has, I think they didn't have anything in mind they particularly wanted, but they're also up for suggesting something, but Average Chris, I think they just want to see Baja Blast on the stream, honestly, it sounds like it. Wow, thank you so much. Oh no, Ashley Ashley wanted to be the first Heron Baron. That's okay. Ashley and Steven have also been extremely generous to where they also should suggest what they want to see on the channel. We gotta get back to Pokemon for Steven. I know he wants to see that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Definitely helps. I'm getting distracted because I'm trying to formulate thoughts and kill fish at the same time. Let's go ahead and do this. Thank you, Chris. You are an extraordinary Chris. No longer average. No, you've never been average. Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, definitely let me know if there's something you've been like, ah, oh, I, I miss this. It doesn't have to be oh, an old thing or a new thing. It can be whatever you want to see. Tomodachi Life. Oh, they started with that. Okay, I wasn't sure if they wanted to see that. Tomodachi Life is one of those series that I honestly really tried to keep going at the time, but I could not get my little Mies to make a baby. Maybe I can get them to adopt a cat at this point. Here we go, get that one. Oh no! The Maws, I keep being distracted. But yeah, I, I struggled so much with Tomodachi Life with getting it to actually do what I wanted. Because the, the proper end of that game, I think, is if you get your Mies to have a baby. And that for whatever reason, they were like, no. <laughs> In this economy. Okay, we got it. He needs to be revived. All right, this is probably the king, right? This is maybe not the worst tide level to have for it, but it is Meg. Okay, we got all three in a row. So much luck tonight, and so much generosity. Okay, what do we got? Pain brush. <laughs> it's tracking me. I'm gonna bring it over here. No, no, no. That was maybe not the smartest. Here we go. There you go, yeah. Hit him on his weird... Whatever that is. I don't even want to know. It's gonna be this way now. Uh-oh, we lost a couple. <laughs> There's a bomb for you, too. Get out of there. Hey. 
Ooh, nice, yeah. Use those eggs. Okay, this time it's gonna be on this side. I, yep, yeah, got stuck. It was going so far, or decent, back and forth there until, there we go. Okay. Nice, I'm right in front of it. <laughs> Get that drizzle out of there! Oh my goodness. This is very tough. We're so close! Come on! Jet Owl, no! I tried to hit you, but I was stuck in the slamming lid. Thank you! Get out! Uh, whoa! I. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I rolled out of its mouth with the brush. We might lose this, but that was cool. Yes, that, okay. <laughs> we still got a silver. I was rolling with the paintbrush, and it was just fast enough to get out of Meg's mouth before I got eaten, because that'll happen with Maz, too. I've never seen that happen before. Oh my gosh, my adrenaline. Whew. Okay, well. <laughs> Got a lot of power eggs. Had a lot of laughs. <laughs> Had some fun. <laughs> that was uh, not the way I wanted that to end, but at least we, at least we got to see something cool, right? Okay, let me get stuff together for the ending because we have our very first Heron Baron here. So I need to put something special together. Let's keep that. Oh my goodness. All right, thank you all so much. I think that's a good one to end on. We got to see all three of the, the King Salmonid. Took the easiest one down. And look at this beautiful Lucha mask I got now. It was a brilliant jump trying to survive at the end. I got a little focused on the boss too much without necessarily uh, taking out some of the... I got looked at the King too much instead of getting the bosses. Oh my gosh. Look at this little rabbit. Adorable. Lyos, they must watch Dungeon Maced. Highly nutritious knight, they are Lyos from Dungeon Maced. Watch Delicious in Dungeon if you haven't already. I recommend it every time. It's definitely my favorite current show going on. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. I'm gonna try to use my luck and roll one more time with this because maybe I'll get something crazy from it. Nope, a ticket. <laughs> That's what we got from the challenge. The, uh, if you remember, the... The challenge that we did last time, the dress-up challenge, I ended up just getting a token for, like, a, a ticket I probably will never use. Grab all this stuff. Slash the one thing. Ooh, I have got that already. Um, I kind of want to go talk about nostalgia. Let's go to Inkopolis. And we'll listen to the, uh... The amazing Booyah Bass music as we finish up to celebrate Splatoon, well not celebrate, but to memorialize the servers for Splatoon 1. See, we don't need Splatoon 1, we have Splatoon 1 at home. And it's actually a little better in some ways, looks nicer at least. Um, but I really like the music here in Booyah Bass when we go into the shops. So let's listen to that. We'll also see our good buddy Fred Crumbs. There we go. Look at these shoes. What are these? New leaf? They should be developing a new Animal Crossing and not working on... No, these are old shoes, but it is funny. The developers are the same, so they're referencing Animal Crossing. All right, enough getting distracted by that. Let's do this. Well, I'll, I'll play these uh, Springfest images real quick while we're waiting so you can listen to the beautiful music, the throwback music, and then, there we go, okay. It should go on its own while I very quickly update all of the members. There we go, I forgot I made that and I scared myself for a second. <laughs> Little bear cub GG, I wanna leave it on that for a second longer. What team do you, are you guys leaning towards? Because Baby Chicks is the obvious one that I'm thinking of. But at the same time, 
I don't know. Bear Cubs is pretty good, too. It's going to be a tough choice. I am leaning, even though it's. I tend to go with big man's teams, I do think... Uh, I'm kind of put. I'm kind of leaning a little more towards uh, baby chicks. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask. All right, I will play this. Tubby does look like a rabbit all the time, so that's why I gave her little rabbit ears. All right. I was gonna update the treat givers, and I was like, wait a sec. Chris was only a treat giver for a very short time. <laughs> Thank you again, Chris, for being our very first Heron Baron, but also uh, for briefly also being a, uh, a treat giver, but also all the super chats you've done over the past handful of weeks. Appreciate all that. Slideshow is moving, right? Yep, we get some previews of Inkopolis. Okay, this should work. I have to make a new Heron Baron category for all the members here. For all one of them. <laughs> all right, should be good. I will also welcome uh, Shade Gaming to the early birds. And T-Man, welcome back to the early birds. Oh, Shade was a member for a little while before, okay. Thank you again, Chris. Make sure you join the Discord if you're not in there. Should make a special Heron Baron room for- There's there's rooms for most of the membership types, but it would just be funny to make a Heron Baron room and it's just you in there. Alright, let's see if this worked. Now that it's looped around to the image that I had before. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> this is going to be a new uh, new segment now, because I normally just thank the treat givers by name, but thank you so much, Average Chris, our very first Heron Baron, the most illustrious title of the YouTube members. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's weeks of Tabi and Gigi's food and treats with just your support. I appreciate that a lot. But also, thank you to all the treat givers. Rafa, oh, go back. Somberlin, <laughs> Steven, Mark, Ashley, Alina, Josh, Kayla, and for a little bit there, Chris as well. I like how I talk to my slideshow like it's going to listen to me. Hey, 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 go back, back up. Thank you to all the night owls as well. Once again, if you want to support the channel and become a member, there's a join thing. I think you have to be subscribed, but I appreciate just having people watch. Subscribe, like, all the stuff that you would normally do, but if you are able to support the channel as a YouTube member, you do get benefits. Emojis, badges, cool things like joining the friends list and getting to suggest certain series or vote on certain series that we play. A lot of stuff. Okay. With all the shop themes, they're all good, but I don't know, something about this one is just the best in my mind. Just has like a weird nostalgia because it the, the little singing that happens in, in this just can't be beat okay we're out of here see you fred thank you all so much i'm gonna put on some different clothes here time to take off the mask we got all this new stuff too not just the tea time visor but the uh I don't know if I'm that into any of these hater shades. <laughs> I know that it's fun that they, they added them. Jelly beans. I think I'm going to go back to my headphones. But I am very happy to see... We didn't get any shirts, did we? I just realized that. It's all sunglasses and shoes, especially for spring. I'm going to go back to my big man. Big Squid Kid 3s. I think those are my favorite. They fit my style. They don't look that... Yeah, they kind of remind me of Big Man's other shoes, the color scheme especially. Where's his big muds? There they are. That orange and gray color scheme. Anyways, thank you all so much again. Definitely getting some Baja Blast soon. Uh, Rip 3DS and Wii U. Yeah, not only... We were talking about Splatoon specifically, but the Wii U and the 3DS going offline affects all those games that are on those systems, unfortunately, but you can still enjoy them offline if that's a possibility. Hopefully that'll change in the future. 
thank you all again. I will see you next time. Please catch up with Earthbound Beginnings if you haven't, because we're getting close to the finale. I've been having a really fun time. If you want to see Danny, she's in that. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, maybe. And uh, I will see you all next time for more as Springfest is on the way. See you then. Goodbye. Thank you again, Chris, and everybody. I appreciate you all. Love you. Goodbye. <laughs>